After two years of global pandemic and a year of Hollywood strikes, San Diego Comic Con opened its doors with its first fully realized program again. One of the main casualties of the past three years was Hall H, where stars and filmmakers turn out for panels to discuss current or future projects. I'm really happy because now uh, Hall H is back, the exhibitions are back, so it's going to be great this year and I hope that I'm going to see somebody like, I don't know, famous or something. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, electric, it's it's astonishing, is one thing yeah. I like to call Amazing. it. Amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People putting out maximum, maximum effort, you know? Yeah. Exactly. The rooms are packed, people are excited, and just seeing everyone put on their best foot forward, we're all duct taped together in one way, shape, or form, it is, it's been invigorating for me. San Diego Comic Con began as a small gathering in the basement of a hotel. Now the event spreads throughout downtown San Diego, with exhibitions, pop-ups, and fan experiences. And of course, there's the cosplay. People dressing up as their favorite sci-fi and fantasy heroes and villains. San Diego Comic-Con runs until Sunday, July 28th. Highlights to come include the Marvel Studios panel, Prime Video's The Rings of Power panel, and the big cosplay event on Saturday, July 27th.